Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here. This is my Daredevil Season 2 final trailer breakdown, but I'm also going to break down a featurette that they did about the Punisher and Daredevil, right? So let's get into this. So it was really cool to see. Now this, I think, was a part of the featurette, but they were talking about how Daredevil has taken down Fisk, but now this, like, new threat has arrived. Of course, you know, typical vigilante superhero stuff. We see tons of dead people. They're just talking about how gangs are coming up. They're doing, like, this huge gang war and... All that. Another look at the Daredevil suit. I still think that the suit is iffy because this it looks like it looks black in this shot here. Like they need to go full on red, right? But you know, I just wanted to throw that shot in there. Then of course, oh sorry if you hear the dogs. But then of course we get a little bit of more of the Punisher. And then right in this next shot here, until it gets here. Hold on. Right in this next shot here, they're just talking all about how all of this war is here. And that he's making this, like, he's a, basically an, a one-man army. So I think that's really cool. Of course, we get a little more of Ka Karen uh, saying that, you know, it's all about how they created him. And they made this villain that's, you know, here and now. And it's, you know, this guy here is describing Punisher as this one-man army. So it's really nice to see that as well. We get the Punisher logo, the Punisher skull. Not really the actual logo, but I don't know what this is from, but they got it. They're calling him the Punisher, you know. Uh, and then really cool to see John Bernthal get this like really you know this interview here talking about how the Punisher this is just gonna be awesome how it's gonna be like this big showdown and I'm hoping that they live up to the hype right um, but then we get of, of course Daredevil chained up we've seen that before in posters and things like that so I'm glad that we're gonna see that in this feature at and then of course stick is in uh, the trailer now we're moving on to trailer stuff but we get stick saying that this is just like the biggest thing happening right now that it's a war that that needs to be fought right and then we get a little bit more Karen we've seen this shot before what is she looking at I have no idea what they're looking at maybe another crime scene or something I don't know so they're looking at something uh, and then of course Electra I'm wondering how they're gonna balance out Electra and Punisher this season like if it's gonna be too overbearing or you know I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see uh, and then we have more stick stick is probably gonna throw down this episode with the sword I'm just saying that's what I hope happens now here this next shot I think that this is Nobu Right, I think he, they're teasing something with Nobu, and then he's going to be making some kind of return, and it's going to be because of the hand. I think the hand is going to have some kind of mystical, you know, uh, effect on Nobu. Uh, and then we get a little shot here of the hand, I believe. This is the hand. Uh, and then, you know, they look awesome. They just look really cool. Like, look at this next shot. They look like full-fledged awesome assassin ninja crazies, right? It's so cool. I'm super excited to see what they do with it, but, but we're going to have to wait and see. And then, I don't even know what episode the hand is in, like, when, with that shot back there. But then we get a little bit of another shot here with uh, Daredevil just looking over the city. Every vigilante superhero has to look over the city. We get the hand battling Daredevil. That, that was a really nice scene. I actually really appreciated that scene. Then this shot, I don't know where Frank Castle is. I think he's in the jail, because that's what uh, King Pin wore at the end of Season 1, his jail uniform. So I think he's in the jail killing people i don't know and then we get this shot here I, I can't really tell what shot this is no they're opening electra and daredevil opening the door right to the, where that big hole was another nobu tease and a gal voiceover so this i think this is nobu because that's the weapon he used in season one and then we get another daredevil shot here i think this is when he was chained up so that was really interesting to see. I really, I'm really excited. I'm rooting for Daredevil's side. I think that the Punisher is going to be awesome, but I'm rooting for Daredevil, right? Then we get the Yakuza again. Um, they, they just look awesome always. They always look cool. Now, here's something that I did not like. Do not ship Karen and Matt, please. If we're going to deal with, like, Claire and Elektra, why do we have to throw in uh, Karen, too? Karen has Foggy, so stop trying to ship them. It's weird. I really don't think that should happen. I really think that's awkward. Please don't. Because then, we see scene like this, where I ship Electra and Matt. It's like, what? So I really like that. I hope they do not ship Karen and Matt. Please. Please do not do that. And then we get, I don't know who these children are, but there are these five children. They're probably tied to the hand. I don't know who they are, but they look creepy, so we're going to have to wait and see. But what did you guys think of the trailer? Comment down below. And also, what did you guys think of that featurette with the interview with John Bernthal? Comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.